Hello, my name is Nobor Nava and I'm going to introduce to you how to make a French recipe known as Dijon Mustard Chicken. I have an insertion right in the middle. Like this. And it kind of opens up, which is called the butterfly cut. One important thing to remember when cutting is never hold your knife with your finger up on this board, but rather hold it with a thumb, first finger here, because you have more control of the knife. Afterwards, you're gonna cut the chicken in half in the butterfly cut, and we will continue to do so with the other remaining parts. Next, for each chicken breast, we are going to actually cover them with plastic wrap, two pieces, one on top and one underneath as well. And then with a mallet, and if you don't have one, which is my case, then we will use, you can use a cup, the bottom of a cup, and you're gonna have to hit the chicken breast very lightly. Don't hit it too hard because then you will make holes in the chicken and it's going to ruin the texture and the overall outcome of what you want. Furthermore, after each slice has been thinly malleted, we are going to cut the pieces into three. So we can just do one, so that would be about one portion, two, and lastly three. Okay, next, after all the chicken have been finally flattened very thinly, we're going, to, we're going to marinate them with a little bit of um, sea salt and we're going to do that to every single piece. So you want to do it on both sides, a little bit on this, a little bit on the next side, Just leave it there. Just kind of do the, do the same for, for the next part. And you just want to go very light, you don't want to put too much and over salt the chicken. And if you want more control of the salt, you can put some in the palm of your hand and just kind of sprinkle it afterwards. And you continue to do so. Now we are ready to begin the cooking process, but before we can do that, I like to marinate the chicken very lightly with olive oil so we can have a certainty that it will not stick to the pan. It just has to be a few drops. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can even mix them together to kind of get the quote going. So to begin, we're actually going to have to cut the tail part of the shallot. And then after that, peel the excessive skin that is there until we kind of see this like light purple. We will need one tablespoon of butter. And for this part, I mean, you can't really, it's kind of difficult to measure, so you just kind of want to grab a nice spoonful. Just put that into one of your cups. Now we will need one-fourth cup of heavy cream. For this part, we will need four tablespoons of Dijon mustard, or we will need whole green mustard. But what I like to do is actually use three tablespoons of Dijon and one fourth of the whole green. So again, you're just 
it's going to really just kind of have a nice healthy tablespoon. I'm going to have three of these. Continuation, the one tablespoon of whole grain mustard, which looks like this. So we are going to need half a cup of white wine. And remember to measure at max, we will need half a cup of water. process we're gonna light the flame to a medium to high heat just try to keep it medium so you have more control of the cooking process and we're gonna use a tape pan and before we put the chicken in we're gonna grab our two tablespoons of butter I mean of olive oil and our butter and we're gonna just let it heat up You can move it around so you have everything covered and before we actually begin putting the chicken inside we are going to wait for the butter to actually get this foamy texture before we can actually put the chicken inside so now as we begin we're gonna actually put the chicken into the pan Just be really careful because you can get a few splatters since it's really high in heat and we're just going to insert pieces. One tip to remember while cooking this process is not to overcrowd the pan. We want we want them to have space so they cook there really. And also keep in mind that because these pieces are thin they're going to cook a lot faster and we just want them to get a little lightly brown, not too brown, and once they get a little bit lightly brown, we're gonna turn them over and let the other side cook. And once those are done, we remove them and we continue with the rest of the process. So here, the piece in the middle is actually the one that we're looking at. It's lightly brown on both sides, and that's kind of what we want for these pieces too. You can see there's a little bit wider. We'll give it a, a minute. And For the next part, after we remove all the chicken, we are going to use the grease and all the fat that stayed on the pan to saute our shallots in because it's going to just add more flavor. And we are going to stir these in a medium heat for about five to six minutes until they have a nice brownish color. We are going to add our wine to the shallots, but before we do that, it is important to remove the pan and then add the wine. And you want to add it slowly. And then you can return it back to a, a medium heat. As you can see, most of the, the wine has evaporated. Now we're going to add our water and our mustard. We're going to add our mustard, or four tablespoons of mustard. And again, when I'm adding the water, you kind of want to add it, the pan away from the heat. And then we're going to return it back to the heat. And then we are going to stir in a medium heat and create the mustard sauce. In continuation, we are going to now add the chicken back to the pan and one important step is to lower the heat, keep it at a low to a low medium and we're going to add the chicken back into the pan. 
In this time you don't have to worry so much about the chicken covering most of the pan. It's actually kind of what we want now because we're going to create the servings. And on top of that, we're going to sprinkle it with some thyme, which is going to give it a very nice aroma. Um, for our chicken, while these fires are cooking or so, we can actually put the chicken in a very, very low heat so we can have full control of what's going on. And what we're going to do for this last part is just grab our heavy cream and just smear it all over the chicken. Afterwards, for your tasting, you can add a little bit more salt or a little bit more thyme depending on what you would prefer. But after that, the chicken is pretty much, you stir it a little bit and it's ready to be served. So we are going to serve the chicken with some grilled asparagus. And before we actually get to the grilling part, we're gonna actually peel the asparagus. We're gonna go all around. It's important to hold it from the head and we're just gonna go around like that and lastly we are gonna cut a piece from the bottom part so I guess about like maybe just an inch too and that'll be it okay so we are gonna bring a pan to about a boil and then we are gonna drop our asparagus inside And furthermore, we're going to add a bit of salt. So after about three minutes or so, the asparagus is going to get a little nice and tender. You don't want to get them to be too soft because then they become kind of flimsy. We're going to remove them from heat. And then we will begin the grilling process for the asparagus. Next, we want to sear the pan. Put some olive oil and then we are gonna put the heat to about a medium to high and then we're gonna drop the asparagus there and we're gonna just let them cook for about three minutes three to five minutes after the asparagus are cooked we will give them a nice cut in the center or so and then from there, we can start our plate presentation, which will be you grab asparagus, and then you wanna kind of, the other half, make them be facing the other way and create kind of like an X shaped. And then from there, we will sit the chicken. And you kind of want to just stack it up, which makes it give it a nice presentation because because for food, you always want to bring them up and then we can just serve a bit of the sauce over it. And we are done.